What's going on guys? TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new video today. We're jumping back into Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. So we're jumping back into this for day two. We're going to jump into a little bit more stuff today, try to actually finish up a few things. I actually played a little bit further ahead so I could try to figure out some of these things so I'd be a little less lost. We're still going to be lost because we're not very good at this. There's a couple cool things that we can do. We kind of figured out at least one or two things on how to make certain things. Obviously, the first thing you have to do is go around and inspect everything. Everything you look at, if you have one of these little babies on your back, it gives you basically XP, which is, in this game, instead of XP, it's called neurons. But you can inspect an item by holding X, right? He looks at it. He does the smell. We did this in the first episode, but it's just so you guys can see exactly what we do. All right. New tool discovery. Natural grass cyan. All right. Now with this, you can do a couple things with it. For right now, we're just going to drop it. And then we're going to go grab another one of the same thing. So we'll grab it. Take it over to this little pile. Drop it. Same thing a couple more times. There we go. Drop it. And then we're going to go one more time. It's three or four. I, I forget which one it is. Let's see. And then drop it again. Now we got that. We're going to go ahead and hit Y to start construction. And then we just sit there and hit the A button. And then, bam, we build it over and over again. We just keep doing this until it's good to go. There might be an actual building queue for this one. I, I, I didn't hear it. This game works a lot off of visual and audio cues. You really got to listen to it. Uh, so there you go. That's what we have here. Now you can go into the evolution stuff once you have a bed. The evolution stuff is cool. Based on the stuff that you've done in the first uh, so you know far into the game, you can kind of look at these different things. Okay. Once it builds out, it's like I'm building out the neurons real quick. Okay, so based on this, these will start to fill up. Right now, we don't have anything in there. Uh, it'll It's something that we'll have to go out and learn things, and eventually these will fill up to where they're all lit up. And then once they're lit up, you can click them, and then you earn new skills. So that's what we're working on right now. All right, so it's still kind of daytime. Let's keep working on that. So that's how to make the bed. That one's fairly easy. Everything else you got to make sure you do just to kind of inspect it and do different things. We can go over here. We can scoop. And then we can drink. That little green bar down in the center is your health. Was it health, sleep, and... Well, no, I'm sorry. Food, water, and, and I guess stamina or sleep, how tired you are, your energy. So you got to kind of keep track of those few things. All right, so there's that. It, there is some food here in the starter area that you can go grab right over here. This is the little fruits right here. We'll grab some of this. We'll go ahead and inspect it. All right, he's gonna look at it. He's gonna decide that it seems pretty good. And you can see over on the far right, it says mature neuron. So we did get a little bit of something there and you can go ahead and eat that, make sure your food stays up. You can also, if you wanna take it to one of your friends, you can come over here and you can actually give it to your friends. All right, there we go. There you go, bud, take that. And we get a neuron for that because now we just earn some communication skills. And now our buddies know to go go get some fruit on their own. All right, if you look around here, there's a few more things that we can grab onto. Let's see, right here, I think. We can go, is it this one? Inspect, that's what it was, okay. So we'll take a look at that one. There we go. All right, I think that's it in this starter area. Is there anything else? There might be a couple more things over here. Now you can go and talk to your different friends over here. There's one that you got to talk to. We need to couple with foe, F-O, foe. All right, let's go check out foe here. Is this foe? So if you get close enough, it gives you the option to analyze. You hit Y to analyze. So that's foe. That's our adult female friend that we're going to uh, end up becoming good friends with. You can go ahead and hit the B button to groom. Oh, she's not having it right now. So what you can do is you can tap the B button. And she talks to you. And then you can do the grooming. And then it allows you to sit there and do the grooming for a minute. Right now everything is good. She's not getting mad or anything. And then when you let go, you'll get a certain amount of... What is it called? Uh, familiarization or uh, you'll like each other a little bit more. And it gets a little bit better as you go on there. So that one's that one. Alright, once it does get to nighttime, we can sleep on the bed and we can do the... Um, what, what is the other one called? The... Uh, what is it? The uh, evolution, whatever. And then we're going to go out here. There's there's a guy right out here that we can feed and bring back into the tribe if he's still out here. Let's see if he is. Let's see. Do we still have a buddy out here? 
We might not. They, they're sometimes in different places. But basically, you can recruit new people to come back to your tribe. All kinds of different things you can get into. And then eventually, you can make more babies. All kinds of stuff. All right. Nothing there. Kind of go down here and look around. Let's see what else we got. Oh, there's one back there. And they always have, like, different things going on. If you watch them really closely, you can see what kind of status effect they got going on. Sometimes you'll find one that's hurt. Sometimes you'll find one that's hungry. So you got to kind of pay attention to that. Okay, I see all the guys out there. There's one way up there. All right. The location of anything you've identified to be memorized. Yep, yep. All right, let's go out there to this one. Hopefully we can make it there and back before it gets too late. Oh. We, we forgot to jump. <laughs> that was not a good jump. We're going to go out here to this thing that we just learned. All right. Let's go straight to the top of this thing. Also, at the top of this, if you guys want to go check it out pretty early on, you can go up here, and the nest where that first gorilla died, that first ape died, is up here somewhere, too. Is that it right there? It should be it right there. There we go. I'm getting a little bit better at the jumping around. I, I fall about 20% less. So if you look right here, here's the one that, that died earlier. Super sad. Let's jump over there. So we can grab this and inspect the food. Don't eat the food. I ate this food earlier. We got super sick. Nice little stomach ache. Maybe later on we'll learn how to cook eggs. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if they learned that. But there you go. Uh, let's see. Dodging attacks. Hold A for prime dodging. Left to choose a direction. And release A at the right time. There you go. So that's really bad. <laughs> and that's why it's telling us. Did we just die? Oh, we did. Oh, no. No, no, no. These birds are brutal, man. So that didn't happen last time. <gasps> this poor little guy is stuck out there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. We almost fell. Poor little dude, man. He's just out here in the madness. All right. Let's go like here. <laughs> well, there goes our leader. So that's what happens when you play ahead a bunch and you learn how to do things. Things get, you still end up dying. <laughs> it didn't go well. All right, I think we got to go this way. We want to be able to jump to that tree there. There we go. There we go. Please don't hurt yourself. And now this gives us an opportunity to go show you how we actually change to different characters. So if you go back into the camp, let's see if we get a little sign. I didn't know you can control the baby like this all the way back to camp, though. That's actually really cool. All right. Uh, where's all of our buddies? So if we go over here, we should be able to change to this other gorilla. All right. So we do this. We're going to piggyback. And now we're controlling the older one. There you go. So we got to be really careful because of that, that bird up there. But we're going to go ahead and go to sleep. So let's go ahead and lie down. And then if you hold A, uh, it actually goes to sleep finally. And then you can hold on to A all the way through the night. It'll fast forward the time. And then when you let go, it'll start up again. You do get some dreams and stuff at night. I don't know if there's any significance to them yet. They're kind of cool, though. You can kind of see what's going on. That doesn't look good. So we'll wait until about, probably about 4 or 5 in the morning. Wait till there's enough daylight. And what it does is it sets up your, oh, there's an alligator over there. It sets up your creatures like sleeping patterns. Oh, we just slept all the way till 8. That's not good. All right. Now, something you can do is you can get branches. So if we grab this branch, once we learn how to, like, change the direction of it and change hands, we can actually turn it into a weapon. But we haven't unlocked that yet. We'll hopefully unlock it here in just a minute. All right. New tool discovery. Dead branch. All right. We're going to go ahead and drop it for now. Let's go ahead and see if we can evolve real quick. So let's lie down. Let's do our evolution. Okay, so now see they're all lit up. You can see it move around. A couple of these are actually unlocked. So this one up here for motricity. So if we hold this, we now have learned the ability to switch hands, which is going to make it to where we can actually make weapons now, which is amazing. So there we go. We got that. It opens up a, two, a few new branches that you can go down later on. And then we go over here to this one for communication. Go ahead and click that one. And now the ability to call all the clan members together is there, which is really cool. All right. Builds out a couple more things. And I think that's all we got right now. We'll get a couple more here really soon. All right. 
So now, since that didn't work out, I think we have to figure out who to actually mate with now. Let's see. It is daytime. We can get into a couple things now. Let's do this stick real quick. Let's show you that. So if you click on this stick now, can I pick it back up? There we go. Grab the stick. Now you have the ability to switch hands. If you look over on the left side, if you press LB to switch hands, now it's in our opposite hand. Now you hold LB to alter it, right? And then you do RB when there's a certain sound, all right? So you hold LB. Oh, I was a little late with it. So you have to, uh, my bad, you have to push the RV button. It's been a minute since I did it. Let's try it again. So let's grab a branch, all right? All right, so we go ahead and press LB to switch hands. We hold LB to alter. Then you hold RB. I missed it. Okay, good. We can let it go. All right, let's try it again. It's a, it's a really quick sound. I've missed it every time. There we go, got it. And then if you see, now we have a stick. So now we can actually do things. All right, now if you wanna go ahead and turn it into a sharper stick, oh, should we sw We should probably switch hands. Let's switch hands. Now we can inspect it again, and we see that we have an actual stick. So everything you do, make sure you do the inspection once again. Very, very important. New tool discovery, we have a stick. All right, if you wanna do a little bit more with it, you can actually switch it back to that hand. Now, we need to see if there's rocks available. Usually there's rocks over right over here. Let me see. Yep, right there. Okay. Let's grab that. Let's inspect it. Look at that. A rock. Smell it. Lick it. Taste it. Just like in real life. There we go. New tool discovery. A granite rock. All right. Now if you hold the alter button. All right. So we hold the alter button. Now we hold the RB. And you can hear it, it's it's doing a little something in there. Hopefully you guys can hear that sound. There we go. New alteration. Very, very cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and switch hands. And then we're gonna inspect this now. And bam, we've got a new amazing sharp stick. Now, using this, I think we can take this back up and possibly get rid of that bird up there. But what we need to do more than anything is we need to go ahead and drop our stuff, right? Let's go ahead and switch hands, drop that as well. And then we need to go ahead and get our food and our water, all that back to go Let's go ahead and drink some water. There we go. All the waters. Okay, got all our buddies over here. What's up, guys? All right, and then we probably need to see which one of these is a male. Adult male. So we need to groom you. All right, let's talk to this guy. There you go, groom. There we go. See the bonding goes up just a little bit. There we go. As long as he kind of allows you to groom him a little bit, he's pretty good about it. Oh, my bad. I messed that up. Hold on. Let's try it again. Oh, my bad. My bad. So if you tap B. Yeah, see, he's not really allowing it right there. There he goes. And if we can get this all the way up, then they become mates. <laughs> they all talk to each other. Pretty funny. Yep. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There might be a, a specific way to it.
All right, we'll, we'll give it a break for a little bit. We'll try it again when we come back. All right, let's get ourselves a little bit of food. We need that food action. All right, grab. Eat. All right, let's go ahead and take that with us. Let's see if there's something that we can search for right outside the camp. Sometimes there is. Okay. Oh, here's another child. Okay. We can actually piggyback a second one. And then now we'll actually gain more stuff as we go about. All right. Are you tired again? Okay. Let's go ahead and end expedition. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this one more time. Here, we'll give you food. You want some food? All right. Let's try to groom him one more time. I'm trying to get through the breeding part because then you can actually do the mating. There we go. There we go. Couple forms. So now these two are actual couple. So now if you're controlling the female, I, I honestly I don't know if it matters. I watched another video and I think it was Tag Back TV, and they said that it does matter uh, which which one you do. So let's go ahead and set the kids down here. We're gonna go drop child, drop child, and now we lay here, lie down. And then you can call mate. All right? And then if you hold B, they get a chance to mate. The camera goes away. Uh, you pretend not to know what's going on down there. And then you wait a few minutes or maybe shorter, <laughs> depending on how they're doing. And then, bam. And then they've, they've done their thing. And then now we can actually, if we want, we can go ahead and switch back to this guy. Okay. Are you just going to lay there now? Probably. How about you? What do you who are you? So let's go, let's go switch. We're going to switch to this one, just that way, that one that we just mated with will hopefully have a baby. So we're going to leave them there. Let's go out and check a couple more things out. But there you go. That kind of gives you an idea of some of the things to get started. I'm still kind of struggling through some of the other stuff. We had to watch a couple of videos to kind of figure that out. But that at least helped a lot just getting through those first couple of things. Let's go ahead and check out a couple more things here. All right. Biggest thing is search everything, everything. Okay, inspect. Uh, there's a few other things that you can make. If you do a couple stones together, you can make some kind of uh, rock or like mortar type thing. All right, new gathering spot, liftable rock, nice. All right, what do we got here? Same thing. Okay. Now we got some more stones and rocks over here. go. I don't know if you need to inspect this each time. Probably not necessary. We'll go ahead and just eat a little bit of it. Alright. Now you do earn the ability to drop things and switch hands while you're moving around later on. Uh, but that's something you gotta do later. Alright. Let's go ahead and let me, maybe it's water I'm short on. It's a little hard to tell exactly what we need more of but she's definitely, this one's definitely hurting a little bit. So let's go ahead and eat one more. Okay. Assimilated nutrients from the berry kind of food completed. In fact, we can go ahead. It's already 1,700. We can probably lay down and go ahead and get with our next couple uh, evolutions. Let's go over here and try this out. We'll get some water. I want to see what else it is that we could possibly do. Now, make sure you have those babies on you, too. I should have done that. We should have had those guys with us. All right. Let's so go over here. Scoop some more water. There we go. Alright. Now let's lay down and get some sleep with this one. And we'll see if we can do the evolution again. So let's go lie down. Let's go evolution first. Alright, so we got a couple more unlocked. Or well, one more unlocked. This one allows us to do item manipulation. Okay. If you hold A, you'll see the neurons start to form out that direction. Alright. The ability to switch an item from one hand to another while moving is acquired. Tap LV to switch from another hand. Yep, we know that. All right. A couple more things unlocked. We can already do this one. All right. Go ahead and hold on to it so it'll build out there. Oh, are we out? I think we're out. We're going to need more neuron stuff. 
All right, and then that's why you gotta have the little babies on you when you go out and do things. All right, let's go ahead and lie down and sleep. All right, wait till the next day. And it's kind of nice because this way you can kind of sleep through the night and stay somewhat safe. Uh, I imagine the nighttime is a little more dangerous. Now those sticks that we made, that, that sharp stick that we made a minute ago, you can actually hand that to the other creatures as well. So if you want to take them on a trip, you can give that to everyone. There we go. All right, we're doing pretty good. Looks like our water is a little bit low. Let's get some water. All right. Get a whole bunch of water. The hardest part is just kind of telling which which thing you really need to do. There's not a lot of indicators in this game. It's kind of cool because most games nowadays hold your hand so much on a game like this that it just really doesn't. It's a big learning experience. All right, let's go ahead and pick up our little buddies. Piggyback. Piggyback. Let's see if we can grab that sharp stick. And we're going to try to go over there and look at those two dead bodies because you do get neurons for that as well. All right, grab. And... Okay, let's drop that. And then I want to grab the stick. Or not. Okay, grab. There we go. I knew we could do it. Good job. All right. Let's go try this again. We're going to go up there. Hopefully now we can at least fight back if this guy attacks us. Alright, let me see. Anything new out here? I don't know if you get points for just learning the things that way. I'm not really sure. You can also do the... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's inspect. Oh, I was just inspecting the same thing we already looked at. My bad. Okay, here we go. Let's go for it. Alright, now hopefully we don't die again. Please don't die again. <laughs> Last time we came up here, we didn't get attacked by that, so it was kind of a surprise. Uh, it's that way, okay. Let's get lined up with that. Good job. It's pretty good with a stick in your hand and with two babies on your back, you can do all this. All right, and then you can see two dead bodies up there now. All right, so analyze clan member and analyze clan member. There you go. Let's get out of here. I really don't want to be there when it comes back, just in case. All right, let's see what else we can get into here. Maybe we'll go down to this. All right, that's all of our friends. Oh, that's what it was. We wanted to go over to that one. There we go. All right, we're going to go over to, the, to this one. Yeah, be careful. Don't fall all the way down over here and see what this one wants because sometimes you can just give them food or you can give them different things and they'll go ahead and join your tribe all right are we still kind of close yep it's really easy to lose your way <laughs> especially if you're like me and you're just not good at finding your way in the first place okay how do i get there job okay yeah so it sounds like he's hungry yeah he's making the noises like he's hungry so I actually need food to bring to him okay so it says that I have some oh I don't want to give him my stick hold on switch hands okay we're gonna we're gonna have to find food for this guy Can I jump that far? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't die. You got two babies on you. All right, let's get some this guy some food. And there's all kinds of cool secrets and stuff around here that I haven't even found yet. There's some other plants that you can use. I haven't figured out which one is for the medical yet. I got to look that up. Could be one of these. I'm not really sure. All right, let's get some fruit. Got some more food here, guys. 
There's more stones. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna drop that right there. Hopefully I remember where it's at. I mean, we can always get more, right? Switch hands. Drop. Grab that. And then we're gonna try to get back to this guy. So let's... We'll just hold on to it where it's at. Alright, and hopefully we can make a friend real quick. Okay, I think we can jump to this one right here. I think... Oh, no, 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 not when you do that. Oh, my goodness. That was almost over. Just like we planned. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back up here. Good job not dying. Good job. Oh, perfect. We're on the right tree, though. Just like I planned. There you go. And now you can give food. There you go. Is that not what you want? Okay. Is that not what they want? It sounds like he's actually like dying of thirst. Maybe he is. Hmm. What else can we bring to him? Alright, we're going to try this long jump again. There we go. Got it. There we go. We're getting a little better at transversing. But we'll work on the next episode. We'll go work on getting a few new guys into our tribe. Figuring out how to make some babies. And then go on to the next actual iteration or next generation. You can do it when you lay down. It says it gives you the opportunity to as long as you have a baby or two. Let's see. Oh. That was a little bit long fall. My bad. All right. Very cool. So we're back at the base. At least we're safe. And we didn't lose any babies, and we only died once. <laughs> so at least we continued that streak alive, right? All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next episode of Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey.